Although in a number of countries gender has been recognized as an important issue for some time, in others that recognition is a recent phenomenon. The development of gender statistics follows recognition of gender as an important issue for social and economic development. Each individual statistical system must adapt how it develops gender statistics to its particular situation. No two offices and no two political systems are exactly alike and what works for one may not work for another. For example, a decentralized system may make it harder to coordinate and construct alliances, but it may be easier to understand and meet customer needs. The following issues are to be considered and will be covered in this presentation. Developing alliances, top management support, funding, and legal, program, and organization issues. Each country needs to have a clear understanding of what gender statistics means for them. Gender statistics is a field that cuts across all areas of statistics. It is about identifying, producing, disseminating, and analyzing statistics to understand how gender issues affect individuals and society. It is a way to show how gender differences can affect the economic and social development of societies. However a country defines gender statistics, these statistics will cut across all statistical domains. In order to develop a new program of gender statistics, or to improve an existing one, alliances should be built both inside and outside the national statistical system. Firstly, looking at the situation within a statistical office. There are natural constituencies in both centralized and decentralized offices that will often resist a gender statistics program. They may see gender statistics as being unnecessary or already adequately covered. Ensuring long-term viability of a gender program requires an understanding of the problems and needs of other domains – education, health, the economy, etc. The statistical expertise in each of the traditional domain areas will be required in the collection, processing and dissemination of gender-sensitive data. The advocates of gender statistics need to convince those working in different domains to cooperate with them and with each other. A powerful argument is that producing integrated gender statistics products provides a richer analysis of existing data and also improves the data collection processes, editing, and imputation and analysis in each of the domain areas. This enhances the work prestige of each domain. Gender sensitization training of statisticians working on the different domains is essential to building successful alliances. All the domain areas must also receive internal and external credit for the gender statistics products resulting from the integration of their domains. Outside a statistical office, alliances need to be built with subject matter experts in ministries, parliament and non-governmental offices, as well as international agencies and the private sector who are or can be seen as advocates of gender. A list of those who do or could share the goals of a gender statistics program should be developed in order to facilitate regular communication and alliance building. It is important that the statisticians listen carefully to the requirements of the external allies. Alliance building must be based on mutual understanding and respect if it is to be more than an understanding of convenience. This means that statisticians and external partners need to listen to each other's needs and develop a common appreciation of the relevant issues. While it is not possible or necessary to meet all these expectations of the external partners, it is important that there are as few misunderstandings as possible as to the commitments of each side. It is important that the promises that are made by statisticians are able to be delivered. Gender mainstreaming will not happen effectively if there is not firm commitment from top management within a national statistical office. This commitment requires a good basic understanding of gender issues, as well as an understanding of the role that gender statistics plays in ensuring policy making that promotes gender equality. 
There is a need for briefings and other information sessions for top decision makers alongside the more technical and detailed training which needs to be provided to those who actually produce and use the data. High-level management determines the overall direction of the National Statistical Office and the agencies within it. The decision to introduce a new instrument, such as a time-use or gender-based violence survey, requires top management's approval. This level of management does not, however, make all the decisions that are needed to improve gender statistics in the NSS. The decision on changes to a questionnaire or administrative form, for